Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. I think this is going to be a bit of a big one because I have just been shown something absolutely amazing. I can't make head or tail of it at the moment, but they're going to help me express it. The images were very vivid, very, um, I've got a siren going on there. They come with a warning uh, about something we're not seeing. Um, so I'm just going to, I've been told to get some cards first and then we'll see how it goes okay so i want to say massive thank you to all of my new subscribers thank you so much thank you thank you to all of you returning and uh coming back um returning and coming back you know what i mean <laughs> and all of the um you know all of the support i'm getting thank you so much right, we've got angel of nature they wanted these cards specifically because it featured a lot of angels, some very big winged angels um, in the vision. So there's something about nature and it being human nature, not just about nature outside, human nature. I have to say there's a lot about divine feminine and divine masculine and the good and bad in both. And... Um, it has been outweighed, let's be honest, though. Um, I'm not letting them get away with that. <laughs> it has been outweighed by the Divine Masculine. Um, there's no argument there, Sora. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, but it's, it's all about coming into their power and the enslavement of humanity being stopped. But we'll get more. Yeah, Angel of Knowledge. It keeps showing me this big book. Light bulb moment. I've just seen that. A light bulb moment. Revelation about the truth of who humanity is, what they are. We've got 13 here, which is of transformation. I'll get two more. I don't know why I have to keep ta tapping them, but I do um, for some reason. This is Galactic Federation stuff as well. We've got Korea Angel. Um, a lot of the light workers going into different areas. I've also got here that something about um, different directions for people to take now as humanity changes. Um, Korea's different. Once this knowledge is out, humanity can change and go different ways. Hmm. We'll get more. As I say, I, I'm not sure what is going on here, but it's something very big. So I want Angel of Enlightenment. So we're getting enlightened about the truth of something. Angel of Travel. I see a lot about interdimensional travel. Travel to the heart, I'm hearing as well. Angel of creativity. Using the heart space. Oh, look. Look at these little bubbles that I was talking about. I'm seeing so many of them around me at the minute. It's like the sky is full of them. That's all I want to say. <laughs> Um, I've talked about them in previous videos, about them being the lost souls, about them being um, alien beings. We've also got the Palladian orbs that go around, but they're a different thing. These are fragmented souls as well, lost souls, um, as in the missing souls that were taken. I've talked about that. Previous videos, go back. Hang on to your hats because this is going to be... <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. It actually had me in tears, what I've seen. So, um, angel of relationships. A lot to do with relationships, even on a very intimate level as well. Um, angel of release. We as a collective, as an oversoul, are releasing something huge. We are coming out of enslavement. We are seeing the light. And there's something that's been trying to pull us back and draw us back. And they keep showing me devil, which... Devil energy, doubt, uh, the devil over soul. So we'll find out more about that. I'm going to go at the crows. Um, 
because they are part of the message as well. Um, as I do this, a um, little bit of housekeeping here for the channel. Uh, comments are off again because I had somebody, this Trump thing. I'm not interested in Trump. I give a message. If you don't like it, you don't have to like it. You don't have to believe it. Is this a psychic reading? Uh, you go you go on your own belief system, but do not come at me and, or use the channel as a political forum. OK, I'm in the UK here. Um, it's not my fight. OK, it's in the US and, you know, you'll make the best decisions for yourselves. Like we had to not so long ago. OK, we had to change a whole load of stuff in the UK that was going pff, insane. So. You'll make the right decision. I am not getting involved in this. I, I'm not, I don't like the man. I'm not going to deny. And I've said that before. Um, but your politics is your politics and your business. Please do not put it on the channel. Causing arguments or having a go at me and being quite sinister with a remark. I actually had to report it. So um, please don't do that. And please don't be attacking the royal family and stuff like that. I'm not into that. Hey. When Queen Elizabeth went, that was the end for me, okay? I, She was one of my heroines. She was absolutely amazing, okay? Um, I'm not particularly interested now, but respect where respect's due, please. Thank you. Okay, let's get on with it now for that. Uh, abundance. A lot to do with money, economy, capitalism. I'm being shown to communism societies that don't work and they're calling them societies i think they mean money systems but they're calling them societies freedom it's all about freedom the angels bringing freedom it's almost like they have been seen in the wrong light as well it's almost like uh religion and i heard very clearly now before you get i see jesus i see the cross I am told this, I'm working with Christ consciousness, I'm working direct with Christ, I work with uh, Carly, everything. I have to keep saying this though, because I don't want people to get the wrong idea. This is unity on this channel. We are unified in our, our beliefs. It's just a different name for, you know, um, we all have different names for the same energy. Okay, so... Um, but that's how I'm working with that Ascended Master. I'm working with Jesus. And that's very personal to me because I was brought up Christian. So, you know, uh, but I do happen to believe it's all to do with um, uh, alien beings as well and the Galactic Federation. So, you know, <laughs> um, so there's a lot of crosses around me for protection. I am being spiritually attacked all the time. I know that. Um, but... <sighs> working with all of these beings because it's something about religion. They want religion. They, not me, okay? It's them, not me, as I say. So don't shoot the messenger. Want religion pulled down and it to be unified and believe in source creator in whatever shape or form uh, the creator comes to you, okay? That's what they want. Um, that is what the creator wants, whatever name you give to the creator. OK, that's what the creator wants. It's time to unite. And that's what they're showing me a lot. And I, um, I can't even remember what I said uh, when I was seeing these really strong visions. But um, I saw priests sitting down and we have got I've got all of these religions on the other side. We've got Christian, I've got Muslim, um, Catholic, well, you know what I mean, all of these different religions, but in particular, I'm seeing Muslim, a Catholic, um, Church of England, whatever. Um, it, I'm shown different ones. I'm shown, you know, like Hindu, Kali. Um, I'm shown different religions. I'm seeing a lot of Egyptian stuff as well, which, but that's what they want. They want it all to be united. And it was something about this control of our humanity. And I heard they preach it in the pulpits. Now, I'm not having a go at, you know, people who are doing their sermons and, and their lay preaching or whatever. The message is true. But there are some, like there is in 
everything and in every industry in every walk of life there are extremists there are people who have their own agenda okay and that's what they're trying to highlight and that's what they want stopped and what they keep bringing to me and i'm understanding now the world trade towers and it's been the anniversary but they sh show it to me through the year they've shown it so many times and i'm understanding what my books have been about now i feel very emotional and it's about that changed something on the planet which hell yeah but um it it gave rise to a massive it was a massive awakening that had to be rushed in okay there's a lot about the 1930s here as well um you'll have to bear with me this is really high level channel stuff that it's coming from me <laughs> so i'll have to you know give us a minute um i'll get a couple more cards while i've I filtering that through to me uh they want all of they want society rearranged more equal more um together release of pain uh they keep showing me they're trying to show me at the moment all of the the darkness hiding in the nooks and crannies of the world and myself and they're starting with me at the minute they're trying to show what's around me and um i was watching another reader and she said something about and it was very relevant to me something about the spiders being everywhere and yeah it's this dark energy that wants to keep us in devil energy in doubt not trusting each other um stamping on our creativity to see a new way of life hiding the true books of knowledge oh all right okay so um they're saying that the books of knowledge that are out there have been manipulated, which we know um, as in religion. And we know that, especially in favour of the divine masculine, um, we know a lot of that. Um, it's human nature to divide and conquer, and it's time for that to change. Aquarius energy? I don't know. It's about following the star, and it's almost like, they're showing me following the star. Now, this is, you see the star in whatever context you see it in. But I'm showing it over the stable with the birth of Jesus, the star. Okay, a lot of people think that was an alien ship. Me? I'm beginning to think that too. Okay, so it's about following the stars. Following following um, what you once were in the stars. I believe that at most... There are people who were born in, on this planet and who are of this planet, but there are a heck of a lot of people who came from the stars. We have star energy within us. We were created in the stars and seeded here. And I think that's what all of these lovely little bubbles that I see. Um, that's to help you visualize. Okay, Gabby's dollhouse again. This is what I want you to see. This is exactly what they look like. So if you're new here. I don't think you can see them. There you go. Okay. So that's what I'm seeing around me. And there are souls. And there's so many together. And oh, there's one there. <laughs> there's so much here. It's so monumental. My head is up here. So bear with, I may have to do a couple of videos on that. I'll get a couple more cards to help. But it's about freeing the human race, freeing through relationships with each other. All walks of life. They did show me very much, and they have been showing me a lot of intimate relationships. But they've also um, showed me, um, and that's like, um, and how that they're all sanctified. Like, um, you know, if you're he, she, they, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're both, if you're whatever. Yeah, it's sanctified. It was brought in. It's part of our journey as the human race. And some people are resisting and enslaving humanity with their rules, regulations, using the books to do it. Using books of false knowledge to do it. Knowledge that was prepared in a certain way and then manipulated and changed over the years. Okay, 
uh, which is quite scary for me to say, but that's what I'm told. Um, but it's in human nature to divide and conquer. We have dark forces that are trying to maintain that. Now, I've been going through something um, biblical, okay? Uh, that's the only way to describe it. And I, I just suddenly came out of it. I have had, and I this is what I think the awakening is. Again, in your religion, your beliefs, turn it your way, okay? So if, if it resonates with you. So I've kept going, should I do this? I've had anger at this. I've had done this. And... It's almost like people have been throwing things at me or situations, life's been throwing things at me, whatever. And it's like, can I uh, get on the right track in this anger and frustration that I've had, health problems, everything. And at one point, I remember sitting there going, this reminds me of temptation of Christ going in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. You know, and that was the training, if you like. And for this ascended master you know and it felt like that's what i've been going through i've been seeing demons i've been seeing all sorts and i just like because i know i'm heavily protected but i've got the point where i've been so confused i haven't known what, with my career if you like uh what i should be doing how best can i serve and it's been really um it's been scary this has been at night this has been everything. My guides have clung around me. I have seen this negative spirit that is from a past life that is hanging around me. Look, we've got anger. Some people are going to be angry at what I'm saying. Tough. I, don't shoot the messenger. This is what I get. This is what I've seen. And I mean physically, mentally, emotionally. This is what I've seen. Every Claire, okay? Every Claire I've had to use okay for this and um the darkness is not happy with me at all and with other people who are trying to spill the beans the cat is out of the bag humanity will be freed we will be seen that all is equal we want to get onto these five d sixty we must have got off this destructive timeline that i was getting um a while ago about the nuclear bomb that's what they keep trying to bring in and they keep going back in time i've talked about this to the 1930s the things have shown this is multiverse this is not just happening in this dimension it is happening on the multiverse and it's coming from other dimensions it's it's almost do you know what the story i keep getting his dark materials i don't know if you've seen it but it's very like that i remember uh, i thought it was for my writing and for what i, I was going to do with writing um but you know, as in how to structure a, a children's story because I hadn't written one. They keep going about the stories for the children. But I think these videos are because we're all children. We're all, you know, um, we're all children. We're God's children. So the Creator's children, Allah's children, Vishnu, whoever, we're their children, okay? So, um, and these are the, they are reading these. These things are coming out of a book of knowledge. This is I mean, we've got here knowledge. They often read from this big book as all these visions come in. And when you see them physically, they're shown to you. I feel very shaky about it all because it's so intense. And the angels, are, oh my God. And they keep showing me this small child of God, of yeah, Allah, whoever, um, changing the world. Okay, and... No, it's not the second coming, by the way. That's not what's happening here. But it's about the children having to stand up and take on the darkness, sweep out the cobwebs, the spiders, the insects, and nasty beings that are around us. Okay? Um, I mean, they, they keep telling me to look up, and I, I've, I've realised a few times I've said, I don't want to look up, I don't want to look up. And when I look, I just see all these nasty spiders on the wall but there is a thing about the spider being for the divine feminine too but it's shown in a very different way okay um and they're making a mistake if they show me that anyway because i don't really like them and somebody loves the fact that i don't like them they try to use them and send me spell work with that i will 
So this may get a bit dark for you, but this negative spirit, um, they've shown me how close he gets to my face, what he whispers in my ear. So if I'm telling you this, there's something like that around you. The media comes in with stuff. It has good intentions, but not all of it does. There's manipulation, there's government ma manipulation, there's darkness manipulation, okay? And it's coming in, um, it's coming in t through nature. I don't know why I had to say that. It's coming in through all different ways. And it's like this, it's like these, um, yeah, okay. Right, they're reminding me of the movie Johnny Darko. Now, I was told there was something like this trying to come at me all the time. You know that stream of um, light that goes through Donnie Darko and comes to his stomach? Um, and that's all about time, isn't it? And following the rabbit, Alice. They always refer to me as Alice gone down the rabbit hole. Okay. Um, and attaching to him. But this time I'm seeing like dark stream sludge. And it's the dark. It's it's what they use this uh the powers that be come secret societies think they're so big they're not their minions okay for whatever this is is it reptilian i don't know well i'm told yes import i didn't want to get into any of that okay um i'm just telling you what i'm getting but there are forces outside of this dimension that want to control it i get that a lot and they are manipulating time from the 1930s up that's why the nine, this time has been mirroring uh, end of the 1920s and up through the 30s. And what we're trying to stop it is mirroring the 1940s, okay? Uh, and the bomb again. They're trying again, basically, okay? Um, so they're trying, the angels, the Galactic Federation, the all different races, Palladians, all of them, greys, not as in the dodgy ones, they're all coming in. In fact, we'll try and find out here who is coming in to try and help this. See if they, um, and they're trying to block it, trying to stop it, free humanity. And it comes down to the basics of intimate relationships. Um, the way children are seen, I'm, I'm being told, um, through nature, through the sharing of abundance and supplies and resources no country should be doing without no one should be doing without um let's have a look this is a revamp so we can start higher learning this is almost like we've been going around in cycles for too long we've been going around the same cycle over and over again uh to stop us um moving on okay and being stuck especially women Right, we'll ask that question in a moment, why women? But um, it's almost like they showed me all the men in black suddenly changed into um, knights in shining armour. They, um, It's almost like they're bringing chivalry back. I don't know what's going on here, but um, all of these in the angelic realms, it showed me all of this stuff going on. Then I saw a spacecraft, these people in robes, Palladians in robes, all these people standing. What they do show me is... Um, there are so many people on the other side watching, waiting, trying to contribute and help. A lot of military. Uh, we're talking military from World War One up. Military. Heck of a lot of military people. And they're all standing in rows. And then it parts. And then I see people in robes, angels, palladians, whoever, walk through the middle. Okay. Um, but I'm also saying um, something I'll tell you about in a moment because... Uh, I want to answer this question. The messages are coming thick and fast, and this is channeling. Uh, when they do it in this week, this is how it comes out. They're not wanting to speak direct, because when I've tried to do that on previous videos, people haven't been that interested for some reason. If you would like that, let me know, okay? Um, yeah, okay. So this is upside down. It's through relationships, okay? Um, now, hang on a minute. I've got to do that because youtube doesn't like the naughtiness look at this it's like snakes as well um but it's yeah um it's it's been blocking again it's what i got in the previous video um blocking people um souls coming in to change there's been a lot of um i don't like saying this it's awful 
darkness breeding here with human sticky bus stock. Is that, can I just check that? Correct, oh no, show it correct. Um, that's what they showed me, they showed me a lot of icky black winged things and um, sent to block the new souls come in. There should have been a lot more new souls come in. Uh, some have left the planet. It's been so hard because there weren't enough souls brought in. Um, and it's all to do with intimate relationships, breeding, if you like, seeding. They've been trying to seed the planet in their own way. Ah, okay. <laughs> Nasty. Some people would call that unholy. Ah, yeah scavenging for whoever and whatever they could do i don't think this is the only dimension they've done this in and in the multiverse hmm i mean look that's yeah Ugh. all right so okay so who have we got help the syrians look at the balls again the spheres okay lot to do with water. It's an awful lot to do with water. But you know humans are made up of mostly water. Um, so yeah, look at this. Ouroboros, infinity, eternal, past life. It's like they're blocking. Ah, this is brilliant. Uh, right, okay. So it's upside down, right? So they all, they've shown me a lot of, um, I can't say it, insemination. <laughs> I mean like real scientific so I don't know if they're trying to mess with genetics. We've had this before and the souls. Okay. Um, and there you go. This is like confirmation of that. Look at the snake around it. Yeah. And you've got this little human. And this is what the, the ball, you know, these spheres. Um, I don't, they're souls. They're waiting. They're eggs. They're souls. They're wombs. I, I, I don't know. Um, but there's been manipulation of that, manipulation of the human race genetically, trying to genetically engineer the human race in their favour. Oh, God. Well, this is heavy. Um, let's see who else we've got helping. Hmm. I knew I never liked them. They're upside down. Um, blue avians. Look. There they are again, and that was upside down, not helping. Look at them. He's... But I see them very like bubbles with people in them, or, you know, they're not the orbs that people go on about. I see them. They're very different. Um, very different from what I'm saying. And then you've know, got the alien spheres. Oh, there's one outside the window right now, the metal one. Hmm. okay that's nice right these people are good i know these people are good they are wonderful and i have seen one they're kind beings very kind beings um then we've got oh hmm i knew um if somebody said something that about them to me a while ago. I can't even see it. I knew a new key, new now key. I can't see it. Right, them, but upside down. So, not helping. <laughs> okay, manipulation, genetic modification. Yeah, it's all about love, turning love upside down. See, love, it's a love hot. These are the Venusians. The Venusians are part of the good ones, but they wanted to show the card with the um uh love upside down splitting people apart they show me uh people in bed could be man woman whatever and they turn away from each other there are out odds di division that is divine masculine divine feminine at odds deliberately divine conquer yeah okay but i'm gonna all right all right that's just star seed. Why are these upside? 
No, some of them have been round, round, round the right way. So, star seed, some star seeds, not picking up their um, what they're supposed to do. So they haven't been helping, but they're not genetically modifying. Uh, greys helping. Now I know there are some greys that aren't very good, aren't very nice, but there's some humans that have been collaborating with these people to get what they want. God, that makes us so much sense of everything I've written. Oh my God, everything I've written. I used to think it was, it wasn't good enough. It wasn't whatever, but everything I've written, it's all of this. It's, they've been trying to put it out to everybody in all different ways, fiction and then YouTube, whatever. This is a massive mission. Um, Right, well, I am putting on my work tomorrow on Blacklist. You can put fiction. Um, I don't know if you can read it on there, whatever. Um, it is on Amazon as well at the moment, or the first book is. Um, and it involves, uh, I'll tell you about these books first, uh, about vampires, but it's all about hybrid beings and everything that i'm telling you now has gone right through those stories in their fiction but it's through the stories i'm going to put my work on blacklist because they want uh, movie people to look at books and uh, blacklist is all about movie i've been trying to do scripts i've got lights going on my face and i'm going to put it on um blacklist so you may be able to read it on there no you don't have to buy it um you can read it on blacklist or you can buy it on amazon i will put the links on the description because oh my god i didn't realize this message has been fed to me for years now um so yeah it's more intricate detail Rainbow children, there are people who haven't come online, people who've been blocked coming online, and starseeds and rainbow children who have been blocked from coming through. Okay, being born. Memories have been locked. And they're trying to rouse. That's why everybody's on YouTube doing all these messages. It's trying to trigger. Okay. Yeah. All through the Galactic Federation, the Angelics. They are the angelics. There's definitely a thing about, I really am beginning to believe, I have thought this all my life, that we originated in um, on Mars and we came here. I'm absolutely convinced of that. So, uh, but obviously there are people who are souls of this earth now, but it's in the DNA. It's all the di right, I said DNA because all of a sudden I kept... As I said, DNA, I keep hearing that song by oh, oh, the muffins that she used to call them on. Um, oh, God, not Pop Idol, it's um, X Factor. Uh, what are they called? The girls and the, the sang that song, DNA. It's in his DNA, DNA. Oh, yeah, it's all to do with DNA, bloodlines, DNA being altered and manipulated and how they're trying to stop that and something about the 1930s may have started in earnest in the 1930s as well with the dna and trying to keep us stuck because in the other versions because they keep showing me there was a it was like um yeah it was like biggles that's it like B biggles um standing in my room last night and i could see these fighter jets and all these um but, you know, from back in the day, um, there's a lot of steampunk stuff, which I don't know why the steampunk could be something connection to Victorian or uh, I don't know why they showed me that. But they do. They show me a lot of um, strange things. 1930s. What they keep showing me and um, 1930s before the war. Um 39 in particular we are in 39 this is my 1939 repeat and that's why they're trying to bring us back all of all of the time but they uh show me um 
you know, like Flash Gordon from back in the 30s, all those serials that you used to have to go to the cinema to see. Uh, my grandfather used to see, they keep showing me things like that. They even show me that um, episode of Voyager um, where they do that. They go back, check it out if you're a Trekkie. You know the one I'm talking about, Bride of Chaotica. Absolutely hilarious. But it's that kind of thing. It's um, something, that it's almost like they're back in time, 1930s. Okay, and they are manipulating time from there in the 40s. It could be different points in time. They keep going back, altering things and trying to keep us on, on this track. Galactic Federation comes in, blocks them. And it says, this boom, 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 boom. Because humanity has to be freed and brought into unification. If it, Because it, it needs to go on and learn new things. It's time. It's been stuck in enslavement for years. Whoa. Okay, is there anything else you want me to uh, talk about on here? Right, I'm being asked to stop this one here. Well, I hope that has been of some interest to you. Um, I have to put this out. Uh, yeah, <coughs> I keep getting throat trouble. Um, throat chakra, going for my throat chakra uh, to try and stop me talking. So, um there are definitely uh, covens um, that are being used, psychics, whatever, seers are being used, all to try and block us moving forward, all to try and block people who are um, psychic mediums, everything at the moment, to try and get humanity moving forward, uh, trying to block that a lot. Um, there's so much. Oh, before I go, uh, can I just answer this one question? Why were women? Because of breeding. Kept down and controlled because of powers of breed powers of breeding and innate supernatural ability. Clear thinking. They closed men off but couldn't close the female side off I'm not saying that men don't have psychic ability and stuff like that of course bloody do but um it's my favorite psychics or men that's not what I'm saying they close them off more they have their gifts were allowed to stay and flourish where they shut down women as much as possible because of breeding. Is this? I have to keep checking because it's so wow. Um, right, I heard this is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help me, God and Bible and hand on the Bible. So there you go. Um, whoa, bloody hell. Um, so I'm going to do another video. Uh, because I want to talk about the plane and this travel to other dimensions. Um, and we'll see what we get in there, see what predictions come up for the week as well. So check that out. Um, but I really hope you'll you'll watch this one. And um, check out my Pure Angelic uh, Tarot readings as well for everyone. And um, yeah, a lot of information coming through. The links to those books are going to be in the thing. Um, yeah, but I will be putting them on the blacklist because everything they show me, they actually, um, show it on a screen. It's like, a, they're showing me the Kashuk records. It's like a library, but they show me there are people sitting in cinemas, um, with blank screen in front of them. And it's like the story of the world, I'm being told. And they're seeing it. The images I see... I thought I could write them down, but that's not how it works. I can't because they're just too, oh my God, they are amazing. They are, the colours, the, the, oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. But there's a lot about Christ consciousness, um, which I'm operating from, um, which is accessible to everyone. 
So um, I don't know how that plays in. You're on this journey with me. It's how I see myself. I mean, they keep still showing me this big red chair. Sit in the big red chair. I'm like, no, yes, in the chair. And they keep showing me Beth are doing it again. Beth from um, Yellowstone. Um, when she takes somewhere over or she gets revenge or whatever in a, a, a company sense and she walks through and she goes to the big boss, you're in my chair. <laughs> That's what they keep going through. So there may be some, if I'm telling you this as well, there may be something in your life where you need to take leadership and sit in that chair. So um, just saying is the yeah, a lot of dominance that needs to be dispelled. Okay. Right. Finally. Oh, I begin to say, I have, before I go, I had to write a lot of this stuff. And I used to be, why do I have to write all of this? You know, um, I was going to say 30 shades of grey, 50 shades of grey, all that stuff, because there was a wave of um, liberation that way, shall we say, with SEX, yeah, for women. That was emancipating. And now it's also emancipating in a different way. Cast off the shackles. It's showing men how they can have what they want that way as well. And all it's coming in. It's working on so many different levels that way. And it's all to undermine this darkness that's trying to, this coven, this whatever it is. And secret societies are just pawns for them. So I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And you can send you, oh, something came at me there. Okay, they show it at me. Um, I won't tell you, but something came at me. You can't. Okay. Ah, thank you. I am going to buy Anubis of the underworld. So, and many more. And all the light workers are guarded and protected. It's almost like um, under an umbrella of protection. So, do your job, as I say. Uh, if you feel, you know, that you've got to speak out about something, whatever, constructively, whatever. Okay, but um, yeah, so I hope that has been of some interest and use. Um, and we will uh, do another video. I'll sort that out and see, uh, about, talk about this plane and what's coming up. In the next few weeks or so okay take care of yourselves and as i say please check out these books because everything is in there it's amazing um and it's in metaphor obviously in fiction but i'll give you a list of the books please check them out because i would love a love a movie made of of what i see if I could just do that, and then then you could see what I'm saying, and it would be absolutely amazing because it's it's epic. It's absolutely epic. Okay, take care of yourselves. Uh, this is um, done on Sunday, so enjoy the rest of your Sunday, or if it's Monday morning, whatever. Well, enjoy your Monday. Happy Monday. <laughs> okay, take care of yourselves. I shall see you next time, and. Um, Take care.